definitely, definitely for worship. You just kind of need to keep What does that mean? No, it's actually, uh, I don't think you spelled that right. Hey, I wrote that. We could use, like, um, little push pins. What about a video game club? Connection could be community, connection could be mission, connection could be school. Okay. Let's take a five minute break. Good work, everybody. All right, let's see if any of these leftovers are worthwhile. Nope. Oh, look at that. That's nice. I can't believe nobody bought that. <clears throat> There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> no, but... Hey, Woody. Uh, hey. That's no, Toy Story, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I love that movie. Here, let sure. me pull your string. No, I was actually going to take oh, it off. Oh, let's see what no, happens. I don't, I don't... Yeah. Reach for the sky! It's <laughs> right. awesome. It's like yeah. I'm Andy and you're... Embarrassed to be here? Yep. So what, yep. is this leftover stuff from the rummage sale? Rummage sale, yeah. No, yeah, I was oh, just no. taking my mind off of some of this and... Oh, no. Digging in. Oh, boy. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it found me. What are you... It's like Jumanji, man. The thing, are you just... doing a skit right now? This is... Well, well it's kind of being a little dramatic, but I just sure. can't figure out why nobody would buy it. Now i got to take it home. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. There's a... There's a buzzer, actually, that goes along with this. It's not in the box? I don't know. Let's just hope it's not here. It's, it's really big. It's bulky. It's got oh, wire. Like that. And there it is. Okay, well, now that we've established... <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's put, let's put it back in the box, So actually. what is all this? Let's put it back in the box, please, what is please. It? Let's just... It, it's a board game called Why. Uh -huh. Okay, my, my wife and my daughter, they love this thing, but it's messed up, man. Why? Right? See, it, when you do that, it just it starts out fun, uh -huh. and then, you know, kicks and giggles, but then it just it gets into your Why? head. See, it just never ends. What? Why? It Doesn't it ever end? No, you know what, I'm out. Why? Actually, Are you walking I'm out. away? I, actually, I'm Why? out. Don't just stay and talk to me. No, no, Why? I'm out. Don't you like the game? <laughs> Why? Park Grove Community Church has lost its pastor and its way and is closing its doors unless it reinvents itself despite itself with the help of Chuck. The Committee hmm. Someone in the pulpit who will inspire us, an effective leader that's what's going to get us going in the right direction. And someone committed to the community and outreach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we figured out that, don't you think? Oh, I do. But I don't think bringing back a retired pastor to help us decide if we should close the church is the kind of help we need. What we need is a young pastor, someone with a family. Don't you agree? Yeah, but you know, I actually don't mind an older pastor. Well, everyone just assumes that all young people want uh, someone in, in skinny jeans delivering their sermon from an iPad or something. Mm. Like somehow that makes it more authentic? I don't think so. I mean, iPads and screens are great, but um, let's just be clear that there is an age limit on the skinny jeans. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ultimately, mm. I just want someone who's really real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's a great idea. Okay. We have a, a lot of ideas up here, like a lot. Uh, possibly an unhealthy amount of ideas. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Um, does all of this make us more passionate? Does it help us rediscover what it is we need to do? Is that a rhetorical question? Or? I don't know. Is it? I mean, is all of that Park Grove, and is it really worth saving? Of course it is. And I'm not so sure. Okay, all right, then let's just go there. All right, what does this church mean to each of you? What do you care about the most? The music, of course, the worship. Being part of a community, having something for my family. Having a leader who is authentic. And fills the pews. A church that does something and not just for an hour on Sundays. Uh, how about this? If this church goes away, what will be lost? That's another good question. Yeah. I mean, it has been here forever. I guess I never really thought about it. Do we really believe that our church has what other people are searching for and need? Oh, come on. We've got a lot of good ideas here. Why are we still here at Park Grove? For me, it's because 
somehow Jesus has become real. Like, like the more I learn, the more different I feel on the inside. This Jesus, this Jesus works. I just, I really wish that the church worked too. All right, we have a lot up here um, about the what and the how of church, uh, which is good, but what about the why? Ugh, it lives. The why? Exactly. What? No, why? Why what? What are we talking about? Why? Because I'm confused. No, why? Because I'm not following. No, but that's what we're talking about. Why? Okay. Okay. Okay, we're talking about what? No, no, no. Uh, what's on second? <laughs> okay, who broke Mr. Riley? I don't know. No, no, I don't know is on third. <laughs> I've never seen him like this before. Even Mr. Riley should have some fun. Why? 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 No, no, no. Hey, why? Plays left field. Oh, so. okay. thank you, Abbott and or Costello. Costello, sure. Um, <laughs> why? That's the question at hand, isn't it? I don't know. Third, Third base. base. Oh, <laughs> don't make me come over there. All right, uh, Glenda. Earlier, you you said um, music and worship, right? Yes. We need the best music. Yes. Excellence in worship. Okay. Now, does it have to be traditional music and traditional worship? I guess not. All right. And why music? Why worship? To inspire, uh, to be moved by God and toward God. Yes. Excellent. Right. That's our why. Right. That's our that's our why. Excellent music. Excellent worship uh, brings us closer to God and closer to each other. Amen to that. Now we are cooking with gravy. Now can we all agree that uh, worship is the unique function? of church. church. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, we can agree on that. We gotta Let's not forget event. it. Okay. All right. Inspiration. Daniel, um, you mentioned earlier community and belonging to a group, right? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. we talked about that before. Having a sense of connection, belonging. I think that we need to invite people to join more small groups. And, and hold each other accountable in our relationship with God. Exactly. Oh, that is great, but... No, 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 no. I just, no, 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 please. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever told anyone this, but it's taken me a while to acknowledge how long God's been pursuing me, loving me. I think it's our job and our role to, you know, welcome and invite others to hopefully feel that same kind of love. All right, <laughs> confession time. Sometimes on Sundays during the Lord's Prayer, I'll raise my head when everyone's heads are bowed and it kind of makes me feel like we're all part of something much bigger. Yeah, I do that too sometimes. Okay, so how does that become our why? Well, I guess I just want people to experience what it is that I'm experiencing. Mm. So to uh, invite others to find connection. Very good. I think we have our why. There we go. Oh, I got it. You got a problem with my handwriting or? We can work on it later. She does have a, pr you were applauding her well, handwriting. You can read it now though, so. No, you're right, that's tons better. My bad. Belong, connect. All right, Mrs. Beasley. Yes. What is it you're looking for? Uh, well, not just me exactly, but, but we. We need leadership. Mm -hmm. Every church needs a pastor. Uh, and, and why is that, Mrs. Beasley? I took the words right out of my buzzer. Well, we need uh, a strong and effective pastor, uh, someone who reflects God's love to lead us. Well, but what about the rest of us? I mean, why can't we lead? We've been doing it so far. Well, that's, that's what I mean. Um, a good pastor moves the congregation in service, gets others to lead in ministry. Otherwise, you've got a lot of God-given gifts going to waste. Yeah, I'm with you there. An effective pastor helps us find and use our gifts, right? Empowers us, shows us how to lead and serve. Why? <laughs> because it helps us to find our purpose, to be who God calls us to be. All right, so gifts. And oh, yeah. dear. <clears throat> Two most important days in your life. 
The day you're born, the day you find out why. That's tweetable. I'm going to tweet that right now. Well, it's Mark Twain. I didn't. Oh. Yeah. Mark Twain already tweeted that, I think. Right. I mean, it's like when uh, I was asked to be head of the finance committee. Like that. You know, which reminds me, we, we are way in the red. We really need to get more people in the pews. I've talked about this before. Okay. So about these people in the pews, Mr. He, Riley. Yes. Uh, Where's the why? What do you mean why? Why? People? Really? People in the pews? Um, Get people there. Been, pe no, no, people in the pews means we're closer to balancing the budget. <laughs> uh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Just uh, uh, people, people in the pews, people in the pews, people in the pews means that the church uh, is is obviously making a difference in their lives. Ooh, I'm listening. Right, you know, and, and uh, understanding, yeah. and understanding uh, Jesus Christ, sure. who he was, yeah. who he is, uh -huh. okay? I'm really, because I'm, I'm sick of hearing that thing too. We good? Well, good, I think that's a tons better why. Okay, So, Fine. making a difference? Making a difference. I'm all about the bottom line. It's the way I am. It's the way I'm geared. I like that. Maybe, I'm not saying there, maybe there's more than one bottom line. Maybe the bottom line is also how we come together and do church, do church well, maybe. Maybe it's about the difference that the church makes in our lives, my life. I don't know. Maybe. It's, it's possible. Changed people change the world. I heard that somewhere. Following Jesus and doing what he taught us to do. Loving each other, feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, helping the oppressed. I think we have our why. I mean, the essence of what we're doing here is inviting people, introducing people to Jesus. <laughs> Did I just say that? And then helping people grow in faith, becoming Christ-like. They're becoming disciples of yes. Jesus. Making disciples, which is the, the, the greatest why yet, right? Yes, yes it is. All right, so, moment of truth. Do we believe all of these whys? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's not, uh, it's not about um, the type of worship, it's about... The why of worship. Right. It's not about inviting people, it's about... Helping them to belong. Yeah, it's not about finding a leader. It's about all of us finding our purpose with a leader. Yes, it's not about people in the pews or spreadsheets in the black. It's about the church making a difference in the lives of people. Yes, and, and it's not so much about mission projects and outreach. It's about making disciples to transform the world. Ladies and gentlemen, um, this is why we are here. And why Park Grove Community Church should continue to exist.